Hello all of you beautiful humans out there in YouTube world. I'm Isonica and today I decided to do my June favorites because I have friends who do these videos and I think they're a lot of fun. Plus I have a lot of favorites. Also, what is my camera? Sorry. Hi. Wow, that's better. Also, my hair is like foof because I'm in a hot apartment. But now my hair is even more foof because I did that. Eh. I whip my hair back and forth, I whip my hair back and forth. So my first favorite is this little flower. It's wilting a little bit so I have to hang it up. Um, one of my students gave it to me on the last day he was in school and I'm going to miss the buddy. Um, but yeah, no, I got this little flower. It's lasting me a good long while. I think the humidity helped to keep it hydrated. Um, but that's my first favorite. Um, my second favorite is this little heat changing mug. Um, I got it with my loot crate and it's Batman and it's pretty cool. I have to get some, I'm gonna have to get some water for you guys. Hold on. So that would be your number one reason to have a Keurig in your room is so you can do this with your mug. It's the coolest thing ever. You guys thought it was just regular wreck, but now we've got the bat signal. And we've got the Joker going ha 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 ha, and it's it's just hot water. It smells slightly like coffee because it was my Keurig, but I love it, <laughs> and it makes me really happy because who doesn't love Batman? Actually, interesting story there. I don't think of Batman as a real superhero. I mean, I think he's a really cool guy, but he has no superpowers, so hence no superhero. And I know I'm gonna be getting a lot of dislikes for that, so please disregard my last comment. Love me, please. So my third favorite for this month would be this thing. It's awesome. It's Rodan and Fields Active Hydration Serum. I'm a consultant with Rodan and Fields and not because I'm making a lot of money off of it, which I'm not, but because I love their products so much. And I use them for my acne because I get really bad acne, but their acne stuff generally, um, which is called unblemished, generally will give me like really dry skin. And this is amazing because my skin has not been dry in like a week since I started using it. And it's really cool because it looks like something out of a sci-fi movie. It's great. Um, you just twist the top and that pulls all the serum up into the little dropper. And voila, there is the serum and then you just squeeze it out onto your hands. I've already used it and it would be a really bad idea for me to use it again. Um, I mean, not a horrible idea, but I just don't think that would end well for my skin, because um, it is very oily skin. But this doesn't really affect my oil that much. But then you just squeeze it out onto your hand and you put it on your face, and then when you're done, it just kind of pops that back down so it's ready to suck up the rest of it, which is pretty cool in my own personal opinion. Um, but yeah, Rodan and Fields is awesome, and I have loved being a consultant for them for about a year now. And they've definitely made a difference in my skin, and I just, I love it. So, as a weird plug, Rodan and Fields, awesome, check it out. Also, huh, I think my fan might be haunted, because it keeps spinning, and it's off. Really kind of creepy, don't like that at all. Okay, so the next thing on my favorites, oh my gosh, this mug is still going, look at it, it's a little trooper, um, is the book series Dorothy Must Die. I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I do and I'm not gonna give any of it away because I didn't expect half the stuff that was in this book but it's really good and it's a good read and I generally read things like Jane Austen and Moby Dick and I don't know I really like the classics but Dorothy Must Die is absolutely incredible and I love it and it's just really well written and it's something I don't read books if I don't think they're well written I read the first three pages and if I don't like the first three pages then I won't read the book and I read this book all the way through and I'm working on the last or the most recent I don't think it's I don't know if it's the last or not but the most recent installment right now and it's just one of those series that sucked me in and I read this I was a camp counselor and I read this in like a week so definitely a book I would say go out and buy because I love it so much and I would recommend it to anyone who loves reading and loves fantasy. So yeah, I think my room's starting to drive me nuts. I noticed I have a couple of mosquito bites that weren't there before. Those mosquitoes are coming after me. And I really get concerned saying things that aren't supposed to be said that way, like mosquito when I know it's mosquito. Because I said poinsettia once and my sister still hasn't let me live that one down. 
Okay, and the last thing that I wanted to say is one of my favorites that my siblings are gonna absolutely love me for is the Mickey Mouse short Potato Land. <laughs> These are the shorts that we didn't know really existed until we went down to Disney World and there was a the fan. There was just a channel where it was 24-7 these Mickey Mouse cartoons over and over and over again. And it was the best thing ever. I've watched Potato Land like five times um, since we got back and it still cracks me up. So please, if you, I'm wearing a Mickey Mouse shirt, please if you want a good laugh, look up these Mickey Mouse shorts. They are hilarious. And they're the modern-ish ones, the ones that have come out more recently. And they crack me up. So Potato Land is probably our favorite. And so, yeah, no, it's great. It, I don't even know what to say. It just, it's so funny, and I don't want to give anything else away because it's just one of those things that you have to see for yourself. Potato land, potato land, potato land. So yeah, that is my June favorites. And on a slight little sappy side note, this is my third month of doing YouTube videos. And I have loved every second of it, and kind of like my second because I kind of skipped a month in there because of the car accident. And I still don't have a new car, and I've been driving my dad's car, and it's kind of been a little busy. But I want to thank you all for just sticking with me through this, and I've seen some people retweet like my videos, and that means a lot to me as a beginning YouTuber and as someone who is really enjoying what they do but not quite sure what they're doing yet. Um, it means a lot to me to see that there are people who are responding to my tweets and retweeting and commenting on my videos and, you know, liking my videos. And that means a lot to me as a beginning YouTuber because it makes me happy to know that you guys like what I'm putting out there. Um, so please continue your patience with me as I'm trying to figure this out. You guys have been wonderful and my 50th video is coming out soon.